Today we are starting a brand new series on Hypixel Skyblock's Impossible Difficulty Iron Man. This prevents you from using the Auction House or Bazaar, along with other things that make the game much, much more difficult. If this video gets 500 likes, I'll make this a full series on this difficulty, and see how long I can play without going insane. I plan to stream most of this on my YouTube channel, so make sure you are subscribed with notifications on to see a full Iron Man playthrough from day one. So make sure you're subscribed, and without further ado, I present to you Iron Man Episode 1. What is up guys and welcome to our very own Iron Man series on Hypixel Skyblock. I really didn't think I was actually going to go ahead and make this series, but what kind of pushed me over is I didn't have any other content to make, since obviously we're lacking updates. Usually I'm Mr. Guideman Textbook Toad, but today I figured, you know what, let's start something fresh since I haven't done my Mage Only series in a long time, and honestly the reason being was I didn't really have any motivation to do it. I had to get about 80 million coins worth of gear in order to do anything on that series at all, and it didn't seem like that's what you guys were going to want to see me do, since it was just going to be me buying things like a spirit scepter and full mage armor, and then going through floor 6 and 7, and then saying that's the series. I mean, if you guys do want to still see that, I can go ahead and do that. I've still been collecting my minions every once in a while, but honestly, I figured you guys wanted something fresh, and I'm notoriously known for being terrible at skill grinding and getting things done myself. And Iron Man really turns that around and says, there's no handhold in this mode. You have to do everything by yourself. You get absolutely no assists whatsoever in this mode. There's no bazaar. There's no auction house. You can't even get booster cookies. This is completely the true high pixel skyblock experience as it was intended. So we're gonna have to grind for everything we want. If we want a pigman sword, we have to set up pig minions or slay millions of pigs if we want it. We want an aspect of the dragons. I have to farm zealots and place my own summoning eyes. And you can't even sell those summoning eyes for coins. No, you have to place them and fight a dragon and sell whatever loot you get to the NPC. You don't want those superior dragon chest plates you just got? A hundred thousand coins. Yeah, it's gonna be really rough, but uh, if you guys are excited for this series, drop a like down below. If we can get to like 500 likes in the first day, that would be absolutely awesome. And it lets me get know that you guys want to see more of this series since, well, since it's something completely fresh to do and it looks like all of us need some kind of break from the traditional Skyblock content and you need something a little bit fresh, a little bit start. So if you want to see the journey of Iron Man from day one all the way until we've completed as much as we possibly can. This is the channel you want to subscribe to since, well, this is day one and we're going to go all the way till the end. So we have a couple more villagers to go and talk to here. This is number nine. Or is that number 10? I'm not really sure. I think there's one more over here. Yep. And then there's one guy that's going to be way behind on the other side, outside here. We can use a rogue sword to get a little bit more speed. Let me go talk to the last villager and then we'll be on our merry way. Duke, the final villager, how are you doing? All right, uh, now what? We <laughs> Normally I would go to the auction house and buy some stuff or punch some wheat, get some coins, but we can't buy anything. So, uh, I guess we should go to the mines and, and try to mine some stuff. Uh, how do we get a pickaxe? I guess we have to talk to the lumber merchant and spend our own coins on it. I guess what we can do is we can buy three pieces of gold and three pieces of iron and to make a gold and an iron pickaxe. And the reason I'm going to end up making both is the gold is going to be for actually mining uh, cobblestone and the iron one is going to be for mining iron ore since we can't obviously do that. I don't know why I made this wood pickaxe. I guess we can sell it back for some uh, some more coins here since well, we don't really have a use for it. One coin back, that's sad. But the gold pickaxe is going to be significantly faster for mining than the iron one's going to be. Oh, I guess they're basically the exact same. I guess it doesn't really matter what we're using here. But we're going to be using the gold one just for it feels right. But we have to get to like, what, mining five in order to access the new places. And man, I really got to get telekinesis on this thing. I'm so used to not having the drops do this. But uh, let's see what level we actually need to. Ooh, a cobblestone minion. That's right. We can use our cobblestone minion to get um some different mining XP. But what level do we need to be to access the next mines? Oh, we can do it immediately. That's perfect. So there we go. But I'm pretty sure we're going to end up needing level five in order to actually get to the next place. But you know what we're going to do? We're just going to go ahead, talk to Rusty and get telekinesis on this pickaxe since I cannot stand not having it. Yeah, yeah, it drives me nuts too that not everyone has telekinesis. There we go. Telekinesis on our golden pickaxe. That way we'll actually get all the cobblestone in our inventory and be able to sell it. Hold on. Is, is Skyblock one of those games where you can break the ores without needing the right pickaxe? Okay, no, it isn't. Oh, well, that's fine. We don't really need to worry about that too much. We're just going to use the faster mining speed in order to get through these five levels and go ahead and go to the deep caverns. And there we go. Mining level five, which means we have access to the deep caverns. And this is where our grind is going to truly begin. 
since we have to actually go and fight zombies until we get an entire set of lapis armor. Which doesn't sound bad on paper, but it's like a 1 in 200 chance to actually get each of these pieces of armor. And since we're not going to be able to just buy experience bottles from the bazaar, it's going to be important to be able to mine as much as possible to be able to get an actually good sword in order to slay some of these mobs in here. So it's kind of good. This is where we're going to get stuck. As we can't really progress until we progress, I know that makes no sense, but trust me, it makes a lot of sense. But I think what we want to do is go ahead and grab some of this lapis and just see how much damage we do with our rogue sword right off the bat. We have a fair amount of coins, so I am going to be extra careful when I'm actually going and attacking these enemies, since 600 coins is a decent amount. But I think it's going to be smart to go ahead and set up some lapis minions, especially in the long run. It might even be worth getting these up to like tier 5 or tier 7 in a few days here, just because lapis is going to be super, super important for getting experience points. That way we can enchant our sword and make ourselves even stronger. All right, here's our first enemy. Can we take this guy out? We do 25 damage to him. So I think as long as we just kind of combo them, they're not really going to be too big of a problem. But there we go. There's our first enemy actually slain. And I don't have... Oh, I do have the Lapis Mini now. Perfect. All right, for the end of today's episode, let's get some small upgrades and get a better sword and try and get some kind of enchants or something on it just to make it a little bit better. So let's talk to the weapons, Weaponsmith and we're going to grab this Undead Sword for 100 coins. And this is going to be our new main sword in the game. So we're going to go ahead and put it in this slot and let's talk to the enchanter and try and get like sharpness or smite too on this thing. Do you smell, do you, do you s smell, no, that's not right. Do you sell smite books? Combine these, smite five, and then we put this on the sword just like that. And there we go, 27 levels. All right, smite five. Let's go ahead and put that on there just like that. And oh, look at that. We have access to the wizard's portal. <laughs> like that's ever going to come out. This guy wants 10 coal to actually reforge our sword. Let's go ahead and do that and try and get a good reforge on our sword. Spicy, let's take it. That's actually really good. Actually, we're going to be slaying a lot of monsters in a minute here. Oh, I don't have enough experience. I was going to put scavenger three on, but we actually need to go buy some experience bottles from the librarian and get up to enough levels. All right, let's just buy out everything here. And, uh, ooh, these don't give very much. Hold on, we have to sell some of our stuff to get the rest of the XP. All right, I ran out of coins, so we're going to do the most overpowered money-making method all of Skyblock, punching wheat in the hub. This can actually make any profile 100,000 coins every single hour on day one, just by punching this wheat and gathering it up. That should be plenty. We actually got up to farming seven, which is pretty crazy. Just off one inventory of wheat, check out how much money we're going to make from this. It's actually crazy. 1,600 coins in the purse, and after we sell all of this, you can just see how much it's racking up already. We can see that. Boom, 2,900. We made over 1,000 coins just from that inventory. Now, if we had access to the bazaar, it would be closer to around three or 4,000 coins, but obviously it's Iron Man, so we don't. But nonetheless, this is still a pretty decent way to make money. Anyways, we have 27 levels to get. Let's go ahead and buy, you know, another like 20 or so bottles. Oh, we're probably gonna need like another like half stack, I guess. Come on. We gotta get up to 27. Perfect, 27. We'll save the rest for later and go ahead and chuck this enchant on our sword. There we go. Now we're gonna be able to get a lot more money. And we still have 1,500 coins, but I'm actually gonna put all of it away except for 100 and add telekinesis to the sword. And let's go try and test our luck in the deep caverns. All right, I don't expect to one-shot these zombies just yet, but I do want to see how close we're going to be able to get. Since they have 200 health, uh, we have the undead sword now, which is significantly better than just the uh, 20 damage, zero strength, zero other stats the uh, rogue sword gives us. We also have smite five on this, so I guess we're going to find out. Something I was considering was making farmer armor and reforging it to uh, like strong or forceful or something. We do, oh, we do 100 damage. That's not bad. That's a lot better than what we were doing before. Oh, we got a lapis armor chest plate. No way! No way! Check that out! That's awesome! Look at that! 40 extra defense. That's crazy. But look at this. Each piece of this armor grants 50% bonus experience when uh, when mining ores. So we don't actually need the entire set for this bonus to kick in. It's 50% for every single piece. And that was what, our, our fifth zombie? That's actually crazy. That's awesome. I do want to try and get the entire set at some point. I don't think we're going to do it this episode since we're pretty much out of time. But I do think it's really, really awesome. We were able to actually already get one piece but I think I'm just probably going to sit here and do a lot of this. I'm actually probably going to stream. I think I might stream most of this series. So if you do want to uh, see most of this series live, I'll try and stream it as much as I can. Since obviously it's going to be pretty fun and it's a lot of grinding. So if you like watching grinding streams, talking, uh, feel free to subscribe and turn on channel notifications so you don't miss the streams. But anyways, I think that's going to be it for uh, today's episode. So thank you all for coming out to part one of my Iron Man series. And I hope to see you all in the rest of the series. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Take care.